My name is Graham Hitchin. I'm the I run the Technology Strategy Board Internet of Things Special Interest Group. The Special Interest Group, as I was just saying to somebody, has run a series of events over the course of the last year and is due to run until the end of March. It's a it's a programme that was set up by the Technology Strategy Board to try and understand better and explore opportunity in this vaguely undefined and emerging Internet of Things space, which we're obviously going to spend a lot of time talking about today, and I think one of the things we're going to talk about today is the problem, but also the opportunity that comes out of a, a space which is as yet to be defined, uh, in terms of its, you know, a market and a market opportunity. But just to, if I can say just a word about the um, Internet of Things Special Interest Group, then we'll move on to the programme. Special Interest Group was set up by the Technology Strategy Board in partnership with three knowledge transfer networks, Creative Industries, ICT, and Electronic Sensors Photonics, ESP, uh, KTN. And the notion was, in a sense, that it was about trying to get collaboration, first of all, across those three sets of sectors, um, the hardware, the, the infrastructure, and the, you know, the, the content, if you like, the creative element, mm -hmm. and, as well as the user in there, um, but also through them to draw in a whole range of other sectors, energy, health, transport and so on, because the Internet of Things opportunity is about the, the opportunity and the collaboration across all of those spaces. Um, and we've run a series of events over the last year, as I say, in a series of programmes. We're doing some work with um, three research councils, EPSRC, AHRC and ESRC, looking at um, research and R&D opportunities um, in the Internet of Things space. We've got the, those research councils not yet committing, but indicating they're willing to commit tens of millions of pounds towards some serious research and understanding Internet of Things opportunities. And we've been working with a whole range of business leaders and others to look at um, what we've described as the thought leadership program, to look at the, what those opportunities in this space might be in the more short to medium term. And there'll be a report published on that, we hope, just before Christmas or in the new year. Um, I just want to do a quick show of hands, actually, because it'd be interesting to find out who's here and to find out um, for yourselves who is here. First of all, can I have a hand, a show of hands? And by the way, you can, you can put your hand up more than once. Um, show of hands, who has been to a TSB or a SIG, Special Interest Group event, before? Not necessarily Internet of Things, but it's been to some sort of TSB event. Okay, so... Most of you are pretty familiar with TSB. Well, you've been to a TSB event, doesn't mean you're familiar with TSB. Um, how many? We're doing this event in partnership with um, IoT London, and Alexandra's here from IoT London. How many people are members or have been to an IoT London event? Okay, so that's not a bad proportion. Um, how many people here are based in Tech City? Good. Including someone whose desk is just over here. Um, probably a few like that. Um, how many people work in a company that has a turnover of more than five million? How many people here are in a company that is um, less than two years old? Um, anybody who hasn't put their hand up yet? <laughs> I'm not going to try and pigeonhole everybody. I just that, that confirms to me that you know there are a few people that actually I haven't asked if, you know academics or whatever, but that's okay. I mean you know um, a good feel. I could say uh, how many women are there here, but there won't be very many hands that come up. And I you know I'm sorry about that. And that's a an occupational hazard with the Internet of Things space, which doesn't mean to say that it's a good thing or something that can't be addressed. Can um, I ask a question? How many people in Europe are members of capital? No, you've, uh, there are about four hands that have gone up. Okay. And just to finish the point I was making before, if anybody's interested, and I think it's interesting, um, a, there's a, a knowledge exchange hub in London that's run by, from Queen Mary's, uh, a woman called Evelyn... Welsh, who's running some events about women in digital, and it's something we're talking to her about, about the fact that 
actually at events like this consistently there's been a real underrepresentation of women. So, um, okay, that was my introduction, my continuity announcement. I'm going to hand over to Uday, who's going to run today's event.